so for today's video I'm gonna be doing some Aladdin inspired acrylic nails so I already went ahead and filed and buffed the natural shine off my nails so now I'm going to apply these clear tips and these clear tips are from Sally Beauty Supply and the nail glue I am using is from the Dollar Tree it works just like the regular nail glues I get from Sally's it works very great Once I add all the tips to my nails, I will cut them and shape them into like a tapered square or coffin shape, however you want to call it. I will do that off camera so the video won't be too long. So for this set, I wanted like a minty blue acrylic shade, but I did not have none. So I'm here making my own. So I'm using this blueberry acrylic that I got from His Eyes on Queen and I'm mixing it with the mint that I got from CM Nails to make that beautiful like teal color and as you can see I am swatching it here on the top of this top to see how it looks and it looks just like these rhinestones that I was trying to match to because this is going to be one of the shades for one of my nails and the other colors I'm using is grape birthday cake this gold fine glitter and the white acrylic powder I am using is from Diva DC and the clear of course so I'm going to go ahead and add a thin layer of clear acrylic to all of my nails. Okay, so for the pinky nail, I wanted to do like an ombre color fade of the pink, purple, that minty blue I made and a little bit of the fine gold glitter. That is what I'm going to do to this pinky nail. And of course, since I'm using odorless monomer, the liquid is kind of runny. I did add my acetone, but it's still going to be a little bit runny. So I do another layer once this layer dries. I do it again so it could be more opaque and vibrant, the colors. For my ring fingernail, I thought I was recording but unfortunately I wasn't. But for this nail, I'm just covering it completely with that teal minty color acrylic I made for you guys earlier. Moving on to the middle fingernail. For this nail, it's just going to be an ombre of the white acrylic with that minty blue acrylic. For my index nail, it's going to be kind of like the pinky nail, that ombre fade of the pink, purple, and mint, but instead I do not add the gold glitter for this nail, just those three colors. Lastly, on my thumbnail, I decided to do like a marble effect 
I think that's what you call the technique but I just wanted to like blend all the colors I use for this set onto this nail no specific um, like order or way I just wanted to see if I could do like a marble effect with the acrylics with this odorless monomer so here I'm just dabbing on the colors and blending them all together of course it came out light but I do go ahead and do another layer to build up that opacity because this is odorless monomer Also decided to add the gold glitter on top of it to here too but I put on too much so I start like to remove some of the gold glitter because I did not want that gold glitter to overpower the beautiful marble effect of the nail so off camera I did go ahead and add this beautiful evergreen iridescent mylar onto the middle fingernail so now I'm gonna start my nail art so I am using Moira Memory Stamping Plate number 16 and I'm going to use this image of like this Russian, um, oh my god, this Russian landmark which is of the cathedral. It reminds me of the palace in the movie. So I'm adding this image to the pinky nail towards the tip area and I did notice I had a missing piece there so I just get the polish and fill it in. For my thumbnail, I want to do another stamp image, so I'm using this Beauty Big Bang XL065 stamping plate and I'm using the image of these feathers, so I'm going to add the image to my thumbnail at a diagonal and I'm using a gold stamping polish. So for the ring fingernail, I decided to do the print of the flying carpet. So that is what I'm painting here. It does have some gold and purple stripes in the top and the bottom or all the circumference of the rug. But for my nail, it's going to be in the top and the bottom. And then with red acrylic paint, I go in and draw like a four petal kind of flower. And then I outlined it with some yellow acrylic paint. And then with a light blue, it does have like a scroll print. With that same light blue I decided to add like some stars on the pinky nail Ugh, as you can see I overfiled the sides of this middle fingernail but it's okay it's not that notice not, it's not gonna be that noticeable because I'm gonna add some bling bling there anyways okay so for this middle fingernail I am gonna be drawing princess Jasmine her jewelry so I start off with like a mint shade like a minty greenish shade and then with gold acrylic paint I go ahead and outlined it so I'm gonna let this dry and move on to my index nail and on this nail I am drawing the gold lamp with the 
light blue smoke like the genie is trying to come out of the lamb. smoke effect I just watered down the acrylic paint and painted on the nail and then I dried the tip of the brush and start removing some of that liquid so it could look like a smoky effect. And here is the finished look. I did add some bling bling to that jewelry in the middle fingernail and I did add to the center of the carpet nail too. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun colorful nail design. This is for the new movie Aladdin so let me know if you guys want to go see the movie or not. I, I cannot recall seeing the original cartoon version. I don't remember because I wasn't that much of a cartoon person but the live action one looks very good can't wait to see it and i will see you guys in the next one bye